Back here on Sports Report with the Festive Chris Park. I am Matthew Hatfield. He's festive because he has his tree up. I do not. We proceed, though, as it is more playoff action in Group 3A East. The Lafayette Rams taking on the Petersburg Crimson Wave. Just last week, Chris, it was Petersburg eliminating Pocosin, trying to knock out another Bay Rivers District team. Yeah, Lafayette also undefeated, and they've got a legend on hand as LT, the Lafayette Ram alumnus. Juan Handel watched the game, and he's certainly got to be happy with the season so far for the Rams. How cool is it to have Lawrence Taylor, the Hall of Fame linebacker from the New York Giants, on your sideline watching you in a playoff game? You know Derek Harris is pumped for that as he has a 52-yard touchdown run just 30 seconds out of the gate. Yeah, this team is loaded with weapons on offense, and Harris just one of the many that they've got. 7-0 your score, 30 seconds in, and we'll see if the Crimson Wave can ride the tide, and they've got a weapon of their own in quarterback Jamonte Jackson. He's committed to Old Dominion to play his college football as a running back. There's Brendan McGinty, the quarterback, bringing down that Petersburg rushing attack to give it to John Douglas and company to get it going. But 56 points last week for the Crimson Wave against Pecos, and the Rams defense much stingier, though. And Brendan McGinty, he's tough to bring down on his feet there as he moves it forward, getting another first down. Yeah, this is a very tough team in this Lafayette Ram offense, and they score once more as McGinty from three yards out notches the score. And the extra point was blocked, so it's 13-0 in favor of the Rams. And again, that defense hounding the Crimson Wave throughout as Jackson has nowhere to go in his runners. And Jordan Noggin also very limited running room. Coming in, the starters have not given up a touchdown in the last six games, led by the Colonial Rivers Conference defensive player there, Matt Humlin. What, the, what about that catch right there by BVP? Brandon Villanueva, Purnell Macon, JT Wahi, and Odell Beckham proud. Yes, he is. There's quite a names in those and that list, Matt, as the offense for the Rams continues to motor down the field as Joe Kragenbrink with another great run, and he'll get some great blocking down the sideline as Harris out and leading the way, and he continues to run inside the 45-yard line. What a luxury for Coach Andy Lynn when the Kragenbrink brothers, Joe and Caleb, are the third and fourth options on the ground for you. It is a nice luxury indeed as Douglas, again, churning out the tough yards and just wearing down this Petersburg defense as he refuses to go down. Finally taken down just outside the goal line. But as you can see, Petersburg is in for a long day. That tough as nails fullback, certainly a difference come playoff time. And again, another touchdown run for McGinty, the quarterback as Lafayette's offense just really clicking on all cylinders here. A quick pass there again to BVP Villanueva Purnell. He's been a threat all year long. 27 points already for Lafayette and they're not done. Yeah, they're not as back on offense. They've already taken McGinty out, but they've still got plenty of weapons as that is again, Craig and Brink on the brink of a touchdown. He's going to score as the Rams add to their margin an impressive showing against this Petersburg team. And they end up winning in a round 49 to 8 to eliminate the Crimson Wave who close out the year at 6 and 7 overall. Lafayette now 13-0 on this season as Coach Lynn and company moving on to the state semifinals. It was just last year that they were defeated in heartbreak by James Monroe in overtime, but they're marching on with that undefeated season as Douglas and Kyle Johnson combined for 237 yards rushing, McGinty with 115 yards passing, a touchdown on the air, through the air, and three on the ground. 